At Titus, we use a polyurea machine to fill freshly cleaned joints. Polyurea is a rubbery substance that is self-leveling, 100% solids, flexible, made of two components, and is a rapid curing polyurea elastomer joint filler. In this training video, we will discuss how to fill the joints, operate the machine, and machine maintenance. This is the polyurea machine. It holds the liquid components and blends them into a substance that will fill the joints. This mixture is rubbery and will dry very quickly. When using this machine and handling the materials, it is required that you wear protective gloves and safety glasses during the process of prepping, mixing, operating the machine, and cleaning the machine. This is the A bucket. It contains a clear polyurea. The A bucket is always red. This is the B bucket. It contains filler and color. The B bucket is always blue. Mineral spirits for cleaning the lines. Mixing tip that attaches to the manifold. Also remember to have a paper towel handy and always wear protective gloves while operating and cleaning the machine. This is the manifold. It dispenses and mixes each chemical component. The two lines on the sides of the manifold correspond to the A and B containers. Always remember when connecting and disconnecting to check which line corresponds with the containers. It is important that these lines are never switched. Start first by placing a piece of plastic under the polyurea machine. This will protect the floor and make for easier cleanup. Since the polyurea mixture dries in a short amount of time, have all your equipment and components ready prior to mixing. First, remove the retaining nut to take off the nightcap. This is a protective cap that stays attached to the end of the dispensing unit when the machine is not in use. Vegetable oil is used to preserve the components of the machine while it is not in use. Using the power switch, located on the dispensing unit, turn on the pump and empty the vegetable oil into a 5-gallon bucket. This bucket will be used for cleaning the machine afterwards. After draining the oil out of the tanks, take paper towel and wipe out both A and B tanks until they are dry of all oil. Remove the filters in the bottom of each tank and clean the screens free of all debris. Keeping the machine clean of all contaminants prolongs its life and ensures that there are no delays on the job. There are two components to polyurea. They are called the A side and the B side. The A side in the red bucket is a clear polyurea. The B side is filler in color and is in a blue bucket. Before emptying their contents into the tanks, Use a mixing paddle to thoroughly mix the material. Each bucket will require a separate mixer as these two components react quickly with each other. When mixing the A side, use a low speed only as higher speeds will create air bubbles in the mix. After using the mixers, clean them with mineral spirits to keep them in good working condition. After mixing each bucket, carefully pour the contents into its appropriate tank. When pouring into the machine, close the opposite tank to prevent cross-contamination. Always pour equal parts of A and B into the machine. Once filled, place the lids back on each metal tank. While the machine is in use, always keep the valves on top of the lids open. Take the waste bucket that was used to empty the vegetable oil and test how the mixtures are streaming out of the dispensing unit. Make sure they are mixing equally. This is very important that both A and B are equally distributed for proper joint filling. If the dispensing unit is not streaming evenly, you may have to check the machine buildup of polyurea and quickly clean it out. When you are out on a job, you are responsible to check and clean all parts of every machine for easy use and to preserve the quality of the machine. Place the mixing tip at the end of the dispensing unit and secure it with the retaining nut. The mixing tip will create the proper mixture of the two components. 
Once the mixing tip is connected, it is important to start filling joints right away to prevent the mixture from hardening inside of it. It is very important once you start filling the joints to keep moving at a steady pace as the polyurea will cure very quickly. You may run into sinking. Sinking is when the polyurea settles to the bottom of the joint and does not fill it completely. If this happens, pass over the area again right away while it is still wet and until it is filled full depth. While one team member is filling the joints, the other's responsibility is to push the machine and watch the polyurea levels in the machine. This ensures that the chemicals are being distributed evenly. This is very important so they will bond correctly in the joints. Once all joints are filled, it is time to clean out the machine. Cleaning quickly and correctly is important in this process. To start the cleaning process, first remove the retaining nut and the mixing tip. Discard the mixing tip, but keep the retaining nut for future use and keep it clean with mineral spirits. Disconnect both hoses by loosening the nuts on each side until they release. While separated, place the A line into the A bucket and the B line into the B bucket. Turn on the pump to allow the unused materials in the tank to drain back in the appropriate buckets. Drain until the machine is free of all liquids. Reattach the lines to the dispensing unit and pour the mineral spirits into the A and B metal tanks. The mineral spirits will help clean and take out any residue left over from the chemicals. With paper towel, wipe down the insides of the metal tank. This will loosen any leftover chemical in the tanks. Using the bucket that you emptied the oil into, turn on the machine and run the first round of mineral spirits into the bucket. Continue to run the lines with clean mineral spirits until the lines run clear. Remember to also clean the filters, retaining nuts, and all threads with mineral spirits. Once all mineral spirits are emptied, wipe down the inside of the canisters again with a paper towel. Titus requires the polyurea machine to stay filled with vegetable oil when not in use. This will allow the parts, lines, and gaskets to stay lubricated and working properly. Pour enough oil into the canisters to cover the filters and about two inches over. Pump it through the lines until a few drops run out of the end. This will indicate that the lines now contain the oil and are lubricated thoroughly. Use the grease gun to lubricate inside the two knobs on the manifold. Replace the nightcap on the tip of the dispensing unit after cleaning and secure it with the retaining nut for storage. When disposing of your waste bucket with dirty mineral spirits and polyurea, you can dispose of it in the dumpster as long as there are other construction materials or debris inside of it. This will combat the volatility of the product. Keeping our equipment clean and in working order is everyone's responsibility. Remember to always be clean and courteous when you are on the job. If any questions or doubts arise during a job, always call and ask someone. We want you to do the job right the first time. We hope this helps you in your training. We strive to provide the highest quality our customers want and deserve. Thank you for watching.